let's convert between decimals and fractions or mixed numbers. So we are going to write 2 and 4 fifths as a decimal number. And the way to do that is we leave the 2 as the 2. We really focus on the 4 fifths here. And the way we write the 4 fifths as a decimal number is we divide 4 by 5. We put in our point zero here. We got our eight. Then we're done with the division. But then there's this one decimal. So it basically says that our four fifths turns to point eight. So we get 2.8. So 2.8. OK, let's take the easy ones. Let's just take them and count them as wins, right? So five and a half is 5.5. One and a half, I'll, I'll work this one out. So the one is the one, the half is one divided by two. We know it's a half, it's, we know it's 0.5, but let's just see why, right? So we put the point zero here, we get five, we get 10, we get a 0.5 because there's one decimal. So 1.5, but you do that. Okay, three fifths. So that's a one. We do three divided by five. That's gonna give us a point zero here, six. And then there's one decimal place. So it'll be 1.6. Okay, four fifths. We've done this one. Let's do it again. So it'll be 0 0.8. 1 1.2 is a fraction or a mixed number. Okay, so now we're working backwards. We're gonna have the one. And then the point two, how do we write it as a fraction? Well, we just do the following, right? For every point we get, whenever we move it to the right one, we just divide by 10, right? So that'll just be two divided by 10. But then we have to simplify, right? So that's one over five. So as a mixed number, it's gonna be one and one and the way we type that is one space, one forward slash five. Okay, so write 0.5 as a fraction or a mixed number. So same idea, for every time we move a decimal to the right, we divide by 10, we divide that number by 10. I mean, maybe, I mean, just to give you an example, we had five, three, two, another way of thinking about this is, one, two, three, I'll do five, three, two, divided by three zeros, right? And we'd simplify that, but this is, this is simpler, right? It's just 0. 0.5, so it's five over one with one zero, because there's one decimal place, decimal place is moved over one. So then we can simplify this to one half. But that was a lot of work to show 0. 0.5 equals one half, right? You, you guys don't have to show all that work for that. 4.6 is a fraction or a mixed number. Okay, so 4. And then that's going to be 6 over 10, which will be 3 over 5 when we simplify. So it should be 4 and 3 fifths. Two point two. well, there's a 2 there, and then that's going to be 2 over 10 because 0.2 Right, we move it over one, that means we divide by a one, a one with one zero. So we'll end up with two and one fifth. And writing 1.4 as a fraction or mixed number, we'll have one here. And we'll have four divided by 10 
or 2 over 5. And that will give us 1 and 2 fifths. Okay, we'll take a little peek at the next. The numbers will probably get a little bit more complicated. 1 and 3 fourths as a decimal. Okay, 1. That's 3 divided by 4, but we're going to need a point zero here. So we're going to end up with 7 times 4 is 28. We'll be left with a 2 here. Bring down another 0. Get a 5. 5 times 4 is 20. And that'll give us a 0. And so we'll end up with two decimal places. 0.75, so 1. 0.75. Again, a lot of you guys know that 3 fourths is 75%, so you could have just written 1.75. Okay, we've done more than 75% of level 1 at least, so actually, how many problems have we done? We've done 11 problems, right? Let's say we only wanted to do level 1, so out of 10. So that's going to be 1 and 1 tenth, or the proverbial 110%. So with that, feel good. See you next time.